Hey guys, Asian Sleepy here, and welcome to another pickups video. Got a lot of stuff, so why don't we get started? Uh, went to a uh, used bookstore that I hadn't been to for a while, and I uh, found a couple gaming magazines. First one here is an issue of Tips and Tricks, November 2006. Looks pretty cool. Got that for 50 cents. I also got an uh, issue of Tips and Tricks from uh, March 2007. Pretty cool. That one was 50 cents. And the last magazine I got there was uh, Game Informer. Issue number 237, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what I did to mine, so I was uh, glad to pick it up. And it was only a buck, so not bad. Alright, now we'll move on to stuff from the game store. Uh, this first huge stack of Xbox titles here I picked up for my uh, boy, Lost Gamer 8519. We're currently working on a big trade, so these are all for him. First up, bro, I got you Project Snowblind. It's in good condition, complete. That was a buck. Next up, I got you Outlaw Golf, Nine More Holes of Christmas. It's a Blockbuster exclusive. It's not complete, but the disc's nice. That was a buck. I got a game called uh, Blowout. Good condition. Complete. That was a dollar. I got you a copy of Yourself Fitness. In great condition. And that one's complete. That was a dollar. Get you a copy of Splinter Cell, the first game. Very awesome game. I know you'll definitely enjoy this one. Great condition, and it's complete. And that one was only a dollar. I got a uh, Karaoke Revolution. Not sure if you like karaoke games, but there's another one for your collection. It's complete. That one was a buck. I got you a copy of Brute Force. Pretty fun game. Uh, definitely recommend it, man. If you haven't played it, you should uh, try it out. Really cool. And that one is complete as well. And that was only a dollar. Got you a copy of MotoGP. Love the MotoGP games. They're very fun. It's complete. That was a buck. Got you a copy of Power Drome. I know you said you used to have it on PS2. Well, now you'll have the Xbox version, man. Uh, this one did not have the manual, unfortunately. But the disc is nice. And that one was a buck. Also got you this really uh, look pretty neat. Uh, it's called Drake of the 99 Dragons. It's like a comic book style of game. So... That looks pretty neat, dude. I hope you enjoy it. Great condition, and that one is complete as well. And that was two fifty. I got you a Sega Sports World Series Baseball. Great condition. That one's complete. That was a buck. I got you a Top Spin. Uh, I used to be a big uh, tennis fan. I don't really play tennis games anymore, but this one was pretty fun when uh, when I had it. So I think you'll enjoy it, man. It is complete as well, and that one was a buck. Got you the. Uh, NFL Fever games. I always preferred these over Madden. I wish that the they, EA didn't have the license to it, that they could still make these. But you can still go back and play. So I got you uh, NFL Fever 2002. That one's complete. That was a dollar. Got you NFL Fever 2003. That one's complete. That was a buck. Got NFL Fever 2004. Unfortunately, this one wasn't complete. And it's a little uh, beat up, but the disc's nice. And that was a buck. Next up, I got you this uh, Xbox Music Mixer. It looks pretty cool. You can do karaoke and music and pictures and stuff, so I thought that'd be pretty neat for you. Great condition. Complete. And that was a buck. I also got you uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, so pretty cool. I'm going to look out for the uh, other Splinter Cell game. Uh, I think it's uh, Pandora tomorrow, so I'll keep an eye out for it for you, man. It's uh, complete as well. That one was only a dollar. And the last game I got you was... Inside Pitch 2003, another baseball game. Looks pretty cool. Complete. And that one was only a dollar. So, hope you enjoy all those titles, bro. And I definitely will be keeping out for other games for you. Now we'll move on to some Xbox titles I got for myself. I picked up myself a copy of Outlaw Golf, Nine More Holes of uh, Christmas. Another Blockbuster exclusive title. Great condition. Uh, this one was complete. That was a buck. I got a MotoGP3. Pretty cool. I just need to get MotoGP2 and I'll have all the games on Xbox. That one's complete. That was a dollar. I got uh, the first Outlaw Golf. Pretty cool game. Glad to finally get it. Still got to get a couple more. That one's complete. I got that for a buck. I got this game called uh, Pulse Racer. And I noticed this was by Jaleco Entertainment. I wonder if it's the same ones that made all those uh, NES games that just said Jaleco on the top. If you guys know, let me know. It's complete. I got that for a dollar. Next game here was uh, happy to get. It's Unreal Championship. Uh, chew. Unha Unreal Championship 2. It's in great condition and it's complete. And I've always wanted to play it. I just never could find it, so I'm glad I did. 
That was only a buck. I also got Motor Trend Presents Lotus Challenge. Looks like a pretty sweet racing game. Glad to add another one to the collection. It's complete. That was a buck. And the last game I got was uh, myself a copy of Drake on the 99 Dragons. Definitely look forward to playing this. So when you get yours, Lost Gamer, let me know what you think of it. It's complete. And that was 250 Alright guys, now we'll move on to some Genesis games I got. Uh, none of these had uh, cases except for one, so I printed out covers for them. The first one here is Triple Score, three games in one. Pretty cool, it has Hang On, Soccer, and Columns. This cart's real nice. Got that for a dollar. I also picked up a side pocket, and I didn't realize that when I uh, printed out this cover that I actually have the uh, cover and manual from a long time ago, so I just need to dig that out of the storage unit, and then this will be complete. Cart's nice. Paid a dollar for that one. I also got a copy of Toy Story. I know my girl's son will definitely love this since he loves Toy Story. Great condition. Cart's real nice. That was a buck. I also got a game cut here, uh, The Lost Vikings. Pretty cool game. Won it for a while. Glad I could finally find one. It was only uh, 250 Printed out my own cover for it. Cart's real nice, so pretty cool to get. The last game I got there was Ferrari uh, Grand Prix Challenge. Pretty cool. Great condition. It's uh, complete, except the man is a little beat up, but that's all right. Cart's nice. That one was $3. All right, now we'll go move on to 64. I really uh, hitting the 64 hard this year, and I got some more titles. First one here is Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling. That was a dollar. I got Emil's Letter Adventure. That was two fifty. Charlie Blast Territory was five bucks. Star Wars Battle for Naboo was five dollars. Wheel of Fortune. Love Wheel of Fortune. So I look forward to playing this. That was five bucks. I got the new Tetris for five dollars. Virtual Chess sixty four. That one was five bucks. And the last sixty four game I got was Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker for five bucks. And it's in great condition. So that's awesome. And the last stuff here, we'll move on, is from the village. I went to Goodwill, but they had absolutely nothing, so... And what was really cool is the village had a clearance sale. Because they're trying to get rid of stuff that's been hanging around forever. And I got some PS1 games. First up is Spec Up Stealth Patrol. That was 50 cents. I got, uh, Big Air. It's a snowboarding game. That one was 50 cents. I got Goofy's Funhouse, and I already have this, so if you guys are interested, it's up for trade. Great condition. That was 50 cents. And I got the collector's edition of Sled Storm, a snowmobile game. So that's pretty cool. And that was 50 cents. Found a disc-only copy of this next game, and I thought it was the extra game, but I popped the disc in and found out it was a demo. So kind of a bummer, but hey, at least I got it. And I did print out a cover for it, and that was The Legend of Lagaya, because I have Legend of Lagaya 2 on PS2, and I got the demo on it. I didn't realize that the yellow disc was the demo version, but hey, 50 cents. I'll take it. I got a Guitar Hero 2. Pretty cool. That one is complete. That was 50 cents. And the last stuff here is uh, some Sega Genesis games. I had to print out a cover, a couple covers here. The first one was Super Off-Road. Pretty cool game. Glad to add it back. Cartridge is nice. And I print out my own case for it. And that was a dollar. I also found a game called Pirate's Gold. Pretty cool. Printed out my own cover for it. Cartridge is nice. And that was 50 cents. Next up, I found a, a copy of Road Rash, and I already had this game, but mine was missing a manual, so for a dollar, I said, why not? So now I got another one, and this cart's a lot better than mine, and that one was a buck. And the last game I got was called Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi, and I printed out my own cover, and I thought this custom cover that somebody made looked awesome. I mean, look at it. That's great. Cartridge is nice, and that cost me a whole dollar. All right, guys, uh, that's all my pickups. Uh... I hope you enjoy the games I got you, Lost Gamer. Um, I plan to go out and hit up a few more stores this week. And you guys let me know if I find anything. I'll be putting up another pickups video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time.